In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some ancient stoic wisdom on how to deal with negative people. Now, the first point to understand is that of the fundamental premise of stoicism. Okay, as Epictetus said, it is not things that trouble us. It is our judgment about things that trouble us. Okay, Shakespeare said something similar when he said that nothing, neither good nor bad, but thinking makes it so in the same way when we are experiencing negative emotions towards a person when we are annoyed by a particular person's behavior it is more often than not that our judgment about their behavior our annoyance that we're experiencing those negative emotions are actually more detrimental than what that person is actually doing okay that's a huge point for me because i've seen that more often than not when I am being annoyed by a person, when I am experiencing negative emotions towards a person, it is because I am in reaction to their behavior. And it's not so much that the behavior is being detrimental to me, but my judgment about their behavior that is detrimental to me. Okay, And the Stoics tell us that when we are experiencing these negative emotions, the most detrimental effect is the reaction that we ourselves are experiencing rather than what the person is actually doing and when we feel like we have to take revenge against this person or that they're doing something wrong and we have to fix it the best revenge as the stoics will tell us is to make the decision on not to be like that person so when someone has done you wrong and you're experiencing these negative emotions towards them and you feel like you want to take revenge towards them the best revenge is to not behave like them okay and the stoics also tell us to embody a mindset of social fatalism and that simply means that people are behaving in a way that they cannot help okay every single person is behaving in a way which they think is conducive to their own happiness which they think is their in is in their own self-interest but we are all behaving in that way so who are we to judge whether they are negative or positive all right thinking makes it so at the end of the day so if we can begin to look at people as helpless in terms of their expression of their behavior then that is when we can go and switch towards actually learning something from them all right we can learn something from every single person even if they are quote-unquote negative especially if they're so quote-unquote negative in our minds because then we can learn what not to do all right the best revenge is to not be like the person who is causing you to experience these emotions all right now secondly when we are making judgments about a certain person's shortcomings when we are classifying them as negative as against what we would consider conducive to the best expression of a person when we're making that judgment when we're making judgments on their shortcomings that is a call for us to go inwards and reflect on our own shortcomings okay like i have made in other videos i'll link out to somewhere over here that reality is like a mirror that reflects our relationship to the world and this is especially true with the people in our lives when we are experiencing negative emotions towards something that they've done that is seriously a call to go inwards and see what part of ourselves that they have triggered that we are suppressing that we are not aware of the shadow side of ourselves that is not given much awareness okay so understand that it is all about our judgment about the person that is quote unquote negative and that judgment actually does more harm than the actual behavior that that person is exhibiting okay now another point to understand as the stoics would tell us is on forming friendships now the people that we have in our lives the experiences that we have with the people that we love are some of the deepest joys in our lives okay as i've gone and traveled around the world at this point every place that i've gone whether it's south america whether it's north america whether it's far east asia wherever i've gone it's not so much that the place is causing me to experience positive emotions it's more that the people i'm surrounded with the deep conversation conversations i have with them the experiences that we create together the memories that we create together is because of that force field that is formed because we are doing it together and people can be the source of the deepest joys that we experience in our lives but in the same way they can also be the source of the deepest negative emotions that we experience in our lives right so the stoics recommend that we should of course first and foremost 
be clear on what is valuable to us right i made another video somewhere over here i link out to it but getting clear on what your personal values are what are your core drivers and what is it that you consider your core principles in life and once you're clear on those principles then you're also clear on what goes against those principles and the stoics would recommend that we should limit the time that we spend with people who are embodying values that are contradictory to ours for fear that their values will contaminate ours okay you've already heard that you are the average of the five people that you spend the most time with people say that show me your friends and show me your future and you know your mother even used to tell you that you are known by the company that you keep so it's no doubt that the people we are surrounded with whether we are aware of it or not they are having an effect on us through osmosis all right if you spend time with five millionaires you will be the sixth millionaire if you spend time with five fat people eventually you will become fat all right they've actually done studies on this where if you have a friend who has a friend that's fat then you are more likely to be fat as well right so even if there's a degree of separation in that regard you are likely to be affected by a friend's friend values so be clear on how you are making your friendships whether the people actually align values with yourself and the stoics would recommend that you create friendships with people who are even better at you at embodying the values that are true to you all right i've seen this in my own life as i've moved to bali indonesia my intention has been to create as many videos as possible and i felt weird when i did it when the people around me were not doing it but in bali it's just a hub of creators every single person Okay, not every single person but i met a lot of people over there who are focused on maximizing their impact that they have on humanity that are creating every single day that are committed about their personal growth their improvement about becoming the person that they're capable of being to expressing their true potential and when i'm surrounded by people like this then it becomes normal for me to film videos every day. It becomes normal for me to focus on my growth and my improvement. It becomes normal to not drink on weekends, to go to sleep at the same time every single day. It becomes normal, it becomes a standard to wake up every single morning and do the right thing, okay? So be very aware of the company that you keep. Be clear on whether your values are characterized and being practiced by the people around you because if they are not it will be way harder for you to go ahead and continue making the right decisions that align you with your values okay now i'll look at my cheat sheet over here and the final point i want to talk about is that of insults right so when someone insults you the stoics would recommend that you take a moment to reflect on whether what he said is true all right because if he insulted you and you're experiencing these negative emotions then more often than not it's probably because the insult is actually true and if it's true then you should actually be thankful towards the person because he's helping you shine the light of your awareness on a part of yourself that was previously unaddressed right and the stoics primary purpose is to sharpen their vision of reality to get an objective view of things rather than stay in the darkness about what is actually true and suppressing the truth of your being so first firstly if someone has insulted you then take a moment to reflect on whether it's true and if it's true then there's nothing to be negative about towards the person because he's sharpening your view of reality all right now the second point is to reflect on the source that the insult is coming from if the person that is insulting you is someone that you do not respect then there's no point in experiencing negative emotions and it's more like you should be happy because that person is telling you what you're doing wrong he's insulting you but you don't respect him so that means that you're doing something right because he does not approve of what you're doing right now and you do not respect him so of course you should not experience the negative emotions because it's a sign that you are on the right track okay as the stoics would say it's like you should treat the insults that you are experiencing in life from other people like the barking of a dog right if a dog is barking at you yeah you know that the dog doesn't like you right now but you also don't take it personally it's not like you're thinking about what the dog is barking at you the whole day it's like okay you go through the situation you watch out for it and then you carry on with your life right and it's the same thing with people in our lives if it's true all right they just did you a favor they help you gain deeper awareness on reality and if the person is not someone that you respect then it's also a good thing because it's a shine it's a sign that you are moving in the right direction okay and that is the gist of how we should deal with negative people in our lives according to the stoic wisdom 
And that is something that I deeply appreciate about Stoicism is that they offer the practical wisdom on how we can live our lives and experience a state of tranquility, okay? The common conception of Stoicism is that you don't experience any emotions, you just are numb to everything and you're just like this emotionless being that's going through life. But really, it's about achieving that state of euthymia as Epictetus, no, as Seneca would say, all right, euthymia, a state of inner flourishing, a state of tranquility, whereby we're experiencing those higher emotions of love, of joy, of peace, of happiness, of fulfillment, of willingness, rather than those lower emotions of guilt, of shame, of annoyance, of fear, and all of that, right? So that is the primary purpose of Stoicism, to give us an objective view of reality, to become in love with searching for the truth, for seeking the expression of truth in our own lives, and experiencing those higher emotions in our lives. So if you learn something new from this video, click the like button, click the subscribe button to see more videos from me every single day and leave a comment below on which one of these strategies has been most helpful for you, all right? Was it the social fatalism? Was it dealing with the insults? Was it on forming friendships? Let me know in the comments below and let me know if you wanna see more videos on the topic of stoicism from me. All that being said, this has been Mo Salim and I will see you soon.